Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another edition of the Man United Direction. And today we're going to talk about Cavani. We're going to talk about the match against Leeds United. And we're going to talk about the three talking points in the game against Sheffield United yesterday and other things in relation to Manchester United. Wow. Let's start with the game against Sheffield United yesterday. Yesterday, against a team which was the worst team in the league, United also still struggled. The three talking points and the three talking points everyone will discuss, we did the surveys, were defensively, attacking-wise, and game management. In reference to game management, let's start from the bottom. In reference to game management, how many times have United, from a losing position, come back? And how many times, in a winning position, have they been able to maintain and consolidate and see the game out in a comfortable position? Not a lot. Yes, they've come back a lot of times. They are topping the table this season in reference of coming from a losing position to winning the, the game. That is good. But how many times are you going to keep doing this against teams who are better strategically positioned, who have better players and will finish it off as we saw against Champions League? We saw that against uh, PSG. We saw against uh, RB Leipzig. We saw that even against Istanbul. So it is not always conceding and say we're going to come back. No. The defence, first point, the defence is really in tatters. When I say tatters, it means that defense is weak, it's so gullible, it is so porous, it's like even it's like knife through butter. It's easy to be broken. After I when Jeff United scored the first goal yesterday, five minutes later, they nearly got a second, if not for poor finishing. And that would have been 2 0 against a team that's bottom of the table. The pair of Maguire, Wambasaka, uh, 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 Teles. Uh, uh, Lindelof, okay, they didn't have the protection of uh, Fred and McTominay yesterday, but that doesn't mean as a back four, they still don't know what they are doing. We create chances against our conversion rate. Sometimes we have more creation and less conversion. Sometimes we have more conversion and less creation. There's got to be a fine balance. There has got to be more creation equal to the amount of goals we score. We created a lot of chances, but we don't take all of them. Prior to Rashford's goal, he missed a sitter, an empty goal. Yes, he scored two. But United have to be more clinical. They have to create more. The beautiful pass from Pogba, the beautiful pass from Lindelof. At the same time, United have to take their chances. We can't keep relying on coming back. It's against Sheffield United, who were the worst team in the league. While you're watching our video, don't forget to smash a like. Tell us what you thought about the game against Sheffield United. What did you think of the tactics? And don't forget to subscribe if you're watching us for the very first time. Thank you very much. Let's move on to Cavani. Yes, he's still injured. It, or, apparently, he's still facing an uh, FA uh, inquiry in, re in reference to the racial slur used to a fan on Instagram where he used to a Negrito. In the, in the Western world, let's say in America or UK, is the N-word, which is a derogatory racial slur against people of color like myself and people of ethnic minorities. But the point here is, from what the club said and what Ole said, was the way he used it was not used to describe a racial slur. It wasn't used in that fashion. It was used as a, a, a mate calling which they used in South America. But this is where we are today in reference to what's right and what's not right. Okay, he might still be facing a free match ban. He's still not fit though, he's still injured. So United said he will be monitored. Let's move on to the next situation. Leeds United and Man United haven't met in the Premier League since the year 2011. 2001 was the last time the two teams met in the Premier League in which United played uh, Leeds. In that game, I remember Andy Cole, was it 2001? Yeah, Andy Cole. Scored the winning goal from an, a poor score chip, which was just like the goal Lindelof gave um, 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 Rashford yesterday. But the good thing was when scores lobbed it, Andy Cole had to run past the lead centre defender. I can't remember his name. Uh, I can't remember. If you guys remember his name, he was the Leeds captain back in the day, in the late 90s, early 2000s. I can't remember his name now. I really can't. But I know... He was a good defender, but Andy Cole ran, it was a 50-50 ball, Andy Cole ran past him and lobbed the ball over the keeper. But there was some good games between Man United and Leeds back in the day. 
Well, Elegant and Social have been playing in one of the games where United beat Leeds 4 3 and Elegant and Social scored two goals. I remember that clearly. But other than that, back in the 70s and 80s, Leeds, Liverpool, Man United, were the, it was a triangle, of, a triangle of hate among the fans and the three teams. But over the, in the 80s and the 90s, Liverpool fell off, Leeds fell off completely. Leeds, Man United came back in the 90s to restore the glory by winning 20 league titles in total. In reference to Liverpool, who've got 18, and Leeds, I think, are in about six. I can't remember Leeds, but correct me if I'm wrong. But back in the day, Leeds were one of the toughest games, the toughest teams in English football. With the, ter with the tradition and heritage. So that game on Sunday is going to be a very big game for the first time Leeds are coming back to the Premier League after so long being out of the Premier League. It will be a very tough game. It will be an, This season, Leeds have been playing some very good football. They have not been exactly the best finishers, but they play some very good football, which is very pleasing to the eye, very organised, very well... Uh, 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 they have a, a system. It's fluid, it flows, everybody knows where everyone is and everyone knows what everyone's responsibility is. In reference to us, who sometimes we turn up like we are just playing it, seeing it as it goes, just pre pre preparing to like, you know, give your best shot. That's how it seems sometimes when you know they play on the field. They, they look like total strangers who don't even know each other. That's how it comes across when you know they do play at certain matches. But this game on Sunday will be a very interesting game against Leeds United. I think United will scrape through and predicting a 3-2 or a 2-1 victory in reference to United. If United do win that game, they could really see themselves going top, climbing the table and going in. They'll be coming, having 26 points, which will be closer to the top where Tottenham and Liverpool are currently are. Yes, with a game in hand. It is Christmas, and I know people having the uh, 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 mince pies, the mince, Christmas mince pies, Christmas drinks and all that. It's all beginning to seep in and we're enjoying that Christmas festivity. Yes, it is 2020, but at the same time, I'm beginning to get some feedback that United might be winning the title. Mm. What do you think? Is this team designed or built to win a title? That defence, if they want to win the title, they really need to tighten up at the back. Get some reinforcements. I think United will have to buy some in the in the January window because that window opens in about two weeks. So who should be United's target? Tell us who should be the targets United should get. And you know that not a lot of players are of not a lot of good players are not always available in the January window. So who are United looking at? Who can United get? And where should United reinforce in the back, middle, or attack? Don't forget to join me on Sunday. We will be uh, uh, talking with the Man United fans, in, in, uh, interviewing them after the game. We'll have fan cams, we'll have match um, uh, summaries, and we'll have everything re in reference to Man United. Hopefully, United will be singing and dancing and ha having a nice Christmas because after the Leeds game, it is a trip to Goodison Park for the Carabao Cup quarterfinals on the 23rd, which is on Wednesday. So, hopefully, the momentum of United going forward, I hope. They are able to get themselves together, especially at the back. Defensively, we struggle. I mean, okay, the second goal we conceded yesterday. Okay, could it have been defended better? Of course, yes, it could have been defended much better. Lindelof headed it up. Yeah, I get that. But still, we always look frail and fragile at the back. It's like they don't know who is going where, where who is and where who's covering this and who's marking who. And if you did realize, one Bissaka, the first couple of minutes, was found out again. He was found wanting because that guy was going down the left and sending in crosses because one Bissaka was not cutting out the crosses. And that is my worry. If that's your worry, tell us what you think. I'm Tim Russell, host. I'll be out there and I will see you guys on Sunday after the game. But if we have any breaking news, we'll go live and pr provide it for you. I'm out there. See you guys on Sunday. For me, it's goodbye and good night. Glory, glory, Man United.